Tonight, Waco police say a family argument led to one man murdering another in Waco this morning, and apparently the victim was beaten to death with a hammer. Yeah, pretty horrific. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell was on the scene today and has more on what the city and police plan to do about the string of violent crimes. Yeah, I was here as the family arrived to receive the news. Now, as distraught as they were, they were able to tell me that the victim was 56 year old Michael Washington. Around 515 this morning, Waco police responded to a disturbance here at 1205 East Calhoun. Once they arrived, they found Washington dead. They say he was struck with a hammer after getting into an argument with 55 year old David Johnson. Johnson was arrested for murder and several outstanding warrants. Police say the two men were related. Since the start of the new year, there have been an increase in crime activity in Waco. Last week, there were five shootings alone. Two of those shootings happened at this home on Ethel Avenue. Last Friday, 20-year-old Joangel Ortegon was shot and killed at 19th and Trice Avenue. Waco City Councilman Hector Sabido says the city applied for a grant to be able to pay Waco police officers more overtime to fight crime. It's very unfortunate that we're seeing such violent crimes in our community right now in our city because, you know, public safety is very important for council um, and for the city staff. Uh, I can tell you that uh, Chief Holt and Waco PD have allocated sources and officers in time to make sure that we are getting to the bottom of this. In order to keep the community safe, the Waco Police Department is in the process of starting a Texas anti-gang facility. Reporting in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.